What's up guys, welcome back to our Road to Dark Matter series. They finally released the new sniper. They've been teasing it all season. We're basically at the end of season two here and they finally dropped it. Just this morning at the time I'm recording this, uh, I put out an M82 video where we're using like the slowest ADS possible. I was thinking the new sniper coming out is gonna be really slow, but apparently the ZRG has the same ADS speed as the Tundra, but it's bolt back speed is really slow. So I got that a little mixed up. We got it out just in time before the new sniper's out and I just got done unlocking it as you can see right here the zrg 20 millimeter bolt action sniper rifle faster bullet velocity with a slower fire rate deals higher damage to vehicles one shot kill to the head shoulders torso and stomach waist up you're, you're getting a kill it kind of looks wonky this looks like a star wars gun but i i haven't seen any gameplay with it i've stayed completely blind to it opposed from you know word of mouth of what people have been saying about it so i haven't bought the bundle but i think i'm going to just so we can get a little attachment to start off here as we're leveling it up and getting everything done it looks kind of nice i guess i don't know i like the white accents and the red but this gray is not doing it for me Either way, I guess we'll snag it just so we can get a little head start on our attachments. Now that we have it unlocked, we still can get levels and unlocks for it. So let's throw this bad boy on. Where is it at? There it is. It comes with the stabilizer 20, the ultralight barrel, which is a pretty deep barrel. We're pretty deep in the leveling. Five milliwatt laser body attachment, infiltrator grip, and the QBC pad. Now I don't have, I literally have nothing unlocked for this gun. Well, let's see what it looks like in gold. That's all right. Diamond looks pretty cool. They've done really well with diamond, I think, in this game. I think it always looks good. The dark matter is pretty cool too, I guess. At least isn't like this kind of gray and they matted the black out. It looks pretty nice for the zombies camos. Gold Viper looks awful. Plague Diamond is Plague Diamond. Dark Aether is sick. Anyways, it's, that's, it's enough talking about it. Let's go play some games with this. I think we're gonna hop into some snipers only. I'm pretty sure everyone else is gonna be using the sniper anyways. So let's just cut out the middleman and snipe with them. I'm gonna put on my double weapon XP token here. I'll do an hour. Sure, why not? And into snipers only. If you guys are trying to unlock this, uh, I recommend playing snipers only. Uh, if you get maps that don't have very many long shot angles or are domination games, I would just recommend backing out of the lobby before the game starts. You need to get two long shot kills in 10 different games, which I, I hate. I, I absolutely despise that way of unlocking guns. It takes so long. I just wish it would be like, get 40 long shots. I will go do that in like two games. But if you only get two a game and you're not allowed to back out of the game, it just takes up the whole afternoon. Anyways, just play snipers only. Uh, stick to long shot spots. Get your two and then stay for the rest of the game. Do not back out. The challenge will bug out. You will not get it. It will not track it. But if you're not liking snipers only, Nuketown will work fine. Just stay like left side greenhouse spawn and you'll be chilling. It looks so like ballistic. Let's take a peek at it. Looks kind of nice. Oh, hey. Uh, do I have a high? Hello. Yeah, the ADS isn't bad. This is also the blueprint build, so I'm not sure how it'd be just default. People are talking about the bolt back speed being really slow, and it also said it in the weapons description. So let's see how slow it actually is. Now, I still don't have any of the ADS attachments. I'm sure you can get this pretty fast. Ooh. Oh, that is kind of slow. Double kills might be bad for this thing, if that's if that's one of the challenges, if that's still psychedelic for this. Unless you're getting collats. Where are everybody? Oh. Dang. Yeah, that bolt back sucks. You miss a shot, you better run. I wonder if there's like a speed reloader attachment or something. This is also just an awful map to snipe on. But I'm, I'm sure you guys are just getting sick of seeing me on Nuketown all day. There we go. Oh. Uh, also, I want to thank you guys for the support on the channel recently. Uh, we're really close to 74,000, which is insane because like about a month or two ago, we're only at like 40,000, so... The growth has been insane. The support has been insane. You guys are awesome. I, I really appreciate all of it. Goodbye. Level two, baby. And we're gone. I wonder if it's some of these attachments slowing it down. I didn't really look at what they do. It looks like there's a bunch of different attachments for this as opposed to, you know, what the other snipers had. Like, they, they switched it up a bit. Oh, shit. Peek it. Oh, you peeked it. I'm curious to see how this stacks up in Warzone. Because none of the Cold War snipers really do anything in Warzone currently. So if, th if this can actually like roll with like the car and like wh what else do people even snipe with in Warzone? HDR maybe? I feel like that's the people haven't been using the HDR or like AX50 since season one. It's been all just like car. Yeah, you got to be really accurate with this. It seems kind of slow aiming around too. Let's try this. I'm going to take... I'll keep the stabilizer on. It doesn't look like our ADS is really affected. That 
affects it and that doesn't okay we'll just take off our body attachment and then see how it works next life does this only start with a three round mag that's kind of that kind of sucks especially with how slow this thing reloads or actually it's re chambers we're not doing the best either we were three and twelve so far, I'm not too impressed with it. I'm also playing like dog shit. So maybe if I, I get some attachments for it, I start, you know, actually doing something with it. I'll start to like it more. But right now, it seems kind of lackluster. Or at least I gave it some kill power. Okay, I'm going to try to loop. Oop. No, peek that. Go ahead, try it. Oh, he's dead. No, he's not. Somebody needs to kill this man. It's going to be me. Let's go. Nope. Did I think? Okay, this is snap. Snap judgment. Oh, I, I, I could have killed either one of them and I just split the difference and shot between them. This could be snap judgment. You know, this is only my first game with it. I'm not that far into like using it. I think I like, um, I might like the M82 better. This thing is chunky. There we go. No. No. Finally, we hit a shot. The LW3 far and away just beats the shit out of this gun. Like if I if I had to choose a sniper with this one in mind, like any sniper in this game, LW3 all the way. This does not seem that great. But maybe it's a whole different story in Warzone. Cause a lot of people dislike the FFAR in Cold War. They don't they didn't think it was good enough. They didn't think it had a, like a fast enough time to kill or anything. And then it's like the best gun in Warzone, like right there next to the AUG. Like I don't see people running AUG in this either. So the only saving grace to this gun would be if it's nice in Warzone but I don't see it replacing the car, honestly. Maybe we'll test it out after this. Maybe I'll, I'll do a video on Cold War and, and Warzone. I think we're, we're starting to get the hang of it though. We're finally putting together some kills. You wanna get out of there, sir? That's another way to get a kill with it. There we go. I think I just gotta get used to it. I gotta be super precise, maybe play a little more slow. And then we're chilling. But also, some people in these snipers lobbies, it's it's so it's so weird in these sniper lobbies. You'll play against people that it feels like it's their first time holding a sniper, and other people who are like just out here going for clips. They snipe all day, like, and they just absolutely demolish you. We're definitely getting a mix right now. You definitely <laughs> you got to be good at hiding if you miss that first shot. Like you got to get the fuck away out of anyone's sight line because you are done you miss like just right there i would have died if i hit that there's a guy behind him too if you need floor kills though this is like the mode to do it if you if you need floor kills for your snipers because no one's touched these field mics you can throw up like uavs harps all the time people do have air patrols but that's just easy flora all right uh that was the first game with it i don't know if i want to play on pines to be honest i like the map not for sniping i'm so tempted just to go to nuketown maybe we'll do that for the for the finale but for right now let's just do normal domination you know add a, add a little variety to it let's see if we unlocked anything for it we did so the two times the cobra red dot we've unlocked the stabilizer that we already have the extended barrel yeah we're gonna put that on instead having higher strafe speed recoil control doesn't really matter because you can't shoot too many shots in between you can upgrade it to a five round but it slows your reload down even more maybe we'll get that i guess this doesn't hurt anything so why not put it on mm, actually five rounds not too bad because it's our reload speed not our our bolt back speed and what are the camos for this same as normal snipers it looks like it holding your breath oh is that what flora is for this? You don't have to get kills while detected? It's been a while since I've done snipers. So I guess throw out what I set up with flora and well, I guess you could still probably get it done in snipers only, but I was thinking more of like detected enemy kills. Ooh, we're on Miami strike, the new version of Miami. I really like how this looks. It looks great. The build of the map, I, they could have picked a better spot because this little area here is kind of, you know, boring. No way. This better have hit him in like the fucking ankle or something. But that looked like I shot him in the back of the neck and he just took it. This thing's supposed to be a one shot. But it definitely, looking at this gun, it looks like I'm playing like Battlefront 2. We're already at level 10 with it though. And we haven't even been doing well with it. This is game two. Probably have like what, 20 kills with this thing total? Also, uh, one of the, the main top comments I've been getting recently is asking for me to try to go for a nuke. Now, I'm not like insane. I'm I'm decent at COD. I, I, I At least I hope so with how much I play this game. But I'm more of like go for clips guy. Like I'll run up. I don't care if I die. 
I'll kill like six, seven people and then bite the bullet. So like, what are some strats to get a nuke? Like, should I even play on nuke town? Should I try normal like domination maps? Is, is there perks that I should be looking out for? Like, what are the meta weapons? Because normally I just snipe. And I feel like I'm not gonna be able to get a nuke just sniping. I can try it. Maybe we can make it into a series of me trying to go for a nuke. Cause I don't know if I can sit there for like an hour or two and attempt it over and over again. It's gonna be really difficult with like SBMM and all that. But if you guys got like strats for nukes and stuff, I'm down to try it. Just, just leave that below and I'll check it out. This map fucking sucks. All right, I, I, I'm, I'm gonna backpedal a little bit here. It's not the greatest. I don't think it sucks. But it is not good for sniping unless it's a sniper's only. Nobody's peeking out here. They're especially domination. Everyone's just over here on these flags. This whole outside portion is just nobody uses it. And that's the only portion that looks good. Ooh, got a no scope. Nobody's coming out here. I'm just going to have to camp over at B, I guess. There we go. <laughs> that's one guaranteed way to get a kill with it. Is to beat someone to death. And the thing wasn't bolted. That's one guaranteed way to die with it, too. The Tomahawk missed, too? This is just not my day. There we go. The bolt time is ridiculous. We're finally getting some kills here, though. And it's halftime. Wait, that's only half? Oh, we have a whole... We have to double what we just did. That's fucked up. All right, maybe maybe we just need a little change of scenery coming to the other side of the map. We started to get it going there right towards the end of the half. Let's see if we can keep that momentum swinging. This thing's probably good for destroying uh like score streaks. At least I would hope it would be. Give me that dome. I think with this, this is like a, a stay the fuck back gun. Stay back, take your shot, hide, and then repeat. Let's see if I can take my own advice here. I just need to get to a spot where it's gonna work. So maybe here will work. Nice. There we go. Now we're getting a few. Let's try to reload here when we have a little bit of time. There we go. No. Yeah, if you see somebody using this and they missed their shot on you, challenge the fuck out of them. Because this gun, this is almost made to be like, missed your shot, switch to the secondary. I wonder how much range this has. Like, it has a lot of bullet velocity. But like in war zone, I wonder if this thing can just prison to military shot. Like get some crazy long, crazy long snipes. No, I wanted to play aggressive with it. Oh, we're kind of going in with it now. I think maybe we just needed some attachments for it and a little bit of experience. Yep. You really just got to keep your distance just to make sure you don't die for making a mistake like that fuck 18 and 21 still yet to go positive with it we're gonna try it out for the last game we're gonna go hop into nuketown and see if we can do better there back to the tried and true kill confirmed lame and it's in progress Ooh, look at that frame drop for whatever reason i get like the worst frames on nuketown i don't know what it is there we go easy breezy Aw. Uh, no. Bolt! Bolt the fucking gun! Oh! Colette, let's go! That's the fastest double kill you'll see with this. Add it on a three. Goodbye. Who else? Goodbye. Next. Goodbye. We still got some more. Who wants it? Me. Um, okay. Game just froze there. Solid. I still need to just switch to normal OBS. I think Streamlabs is just really cucking me at the moment. Streamlabs, gonna be strictly for streaming. 360? Again? 720? Do the math for the rest? And we missed. Watch this. I don't know where I am. And I'm dead. Why am I trying to trick shot with this thing? Actually, we'll try it one more time. One more time. Yeah, it's not happening. Want to finish this game going positive. Okay. That was a nice shot. I've yet to finish a game positive with this. Oh, no. That could have been a clat. Oh, we choked it. 20 and 23. That's not a far climb. Okay, no one's... Yes, they are. I was going to say no one's over here. They're definitely over there. 
No one's peeking now. There we go. We got one bullet left in this thing. Make it count. Let's go. Get that thing out of here. Oh, I would have got that kill on the guy in the trailer. Oh, we went even. So not positive, but better than negative. All right, so overall first impressions with this gun, it's kind of eh. Uh, the LW3, I think far and away blows this thing out of the water, at least in, in multiplayer. Let me look at all these attachments really quick. Fast mag, ooh, that's not gonna change shit. But I mean, it's nice they added a new gun. It looks like Star Wars. It's not the craziest thing in the world. I don't know. This is also just, I've only played three games with it so far. So let me know what you guys think about the sniper. I'm, I'm mixed on it. Maybe the more I level it up and the better attachments I get, it'll be better, but right now not impressed but anyways i'm gonna go try this thing out in warzone so that's gonna be it for this video uh if you liked it and you want to see more leave a like on it if you didn't you don't dislike uh if you're new here please consider subscribing we're on the road to 100k uh links to my merch store and my secret labs affiliate link will be in the description below and i'll see you guys next time later